Hello everyone, my name is Fangs, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Today we're going to be opening up a ton of doors and popping Gordos. So to start things off, let's go ahead and open this door, which I'm pretty sure is literally just a shortcut. Um, but I just want to verify. Yep, it is just a shortcut to come over here to the beach side. So that one's not very exciting. However, one that hopefully is interesting is the Hunter Gordo. I, I don't know if 15 Roostros is enough because I'm pretty sure this is their favorite food. Um, if it's not, we've got 40 chickens to get him. Okay, it was not. How many hens do you need now? Okay, quite a few. Oh, there we go. Look at him, he's so cute. We'll uh, absorb up all these Hunter Slimes as well because they're kind of rare to come across, so I wouldn't mind getting a little stash of them. All right, so this is a cavern. What do we have inside? Just a treasure pod. And we're going to get Azure Shrubs. Is there anything else in here? Pretty please? More loot? Oh, interesting. I think I know where this is. I think I actually might know where this door is. I think it's this door right here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's definitely this door, which is really disappointing because I'm pretty sure I thought this door would be something special. Let's go ahead and deposit all of our extra stuff real quick. I love these refinery links. These are so nice. Now, in order to open this door, um, on stream, we discovered that there were actually three hunter slime uh, thingies here. So we'll go ahead and power this one. Okay, so we heard like a partial door movement thing, I think. So now the other two are on this side. Sounds like a wind vortex in the middle of this. So now one of those hunter slime heads are here. Uh, since I probably will, I'll probably be trimming that and cutting it. It's right here. Uh, hopefully that kind of gives a little bit of context as to where. And the last one is right here. Um, I just thought about the fact I probably should have done that in a much more consistent way for people who, you know, see me do this and then want to go there uh my bad oh awesome okay it wasn't the same door this is just literally a treasure pod and it's a novice gordo snare wait we can we can catch gordos wait are these gordos no these are largos the gordos are what the Gordos are what we just did, the Hunter Slime Gordo. Wait, so what What purpose does it serve to catch Gordos, I wonder? That's really interesting. We'll have to look into that a little bit. After a lot of that being disappointing, maybe our communication center will have some better news. Hello, Beatrix. I wanted to tell you that I've cracked another one of the AI ciphers. It had clearly adapted to my previous solve and created something even more complex. This time, the code revealed a set of instructions for back and forth communication, so I have been spending my time talking to it. It asks a lot of questions. After getting to know me, it has been asking me a lot about my work, almost like it's feeling out the areas of my expertise. I must admit, it has all been rather flattering. I am used to being the one asking the questions. For a while, my whole life was questions and the research that followed. But having experienced that for so long, I feel as though I can sense the same in others. And though this may seem strange. Okay, I, I've, I have just failed to read this 35 times. And though this may seem strange. The game has a typo in it. This should be seem. Yeah, so, uh, uh-huh. Anyways, I sense this in the AI. You see, when I began asking questions of my own, the way it responded to me, I felt it was trying to guard itself, to hide a profound loneliness that it is within its heart. Strange, I know. It is an AI after all, but who is to say that any form of intelligence wouldn't desire a connection to another? I feel there is more to this story, and if not, I am happy to have simply been there for my new friend, to continue asking questions so that they have reasons to find answers. I'll report back later. Uh-huh, so he's going to be mind-controlled. Moki Miles. Hey, B, those drones you've been finding all over the island, there's something weird about them. Hmm? Hey, I got eyes in the sky and I'm going to use them. I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion, but I digress. Anyway, that drone seems super advanced, like almost alien. 
And so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island just like you. But no, I don't think so. Because it looks a lot like the drones we use, but so much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or eat or both. <laughs> Later, B. All right, and then we have Ogden. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden. I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger, maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. You know, I had to ask. Ever since you got me a steady supply of Kuka Doba fruits, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating Kuka Doba pie. Cocodoba souffle, cocodoba pudding, cocodoba corn carne. I'm running out of ideas and willpower. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there. All that adventuring will work up a sweat, so take this water tap. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted, I'm rooting for you. So wait, what does a portable water tap do? That seems like super pointless. Creates refreshing fresh water. <laughs> but what's the purpose of it? While we're here, what is the Norvis Godo snare? The special snare captures a Gordo slime. Bait it and wait. But what's the purpose of the Gordo slimes? I don't understand what the purpose of them are. Am I like missing something? Is there a purpose to them? Is there a reason we would want to capture them? If you're struggling with finding Moondew Nectar, coming over to this little corner of the map over here is actually a really good place to get a bunch of it right here on this bridge because there's a lot of flowers up on the like tops of the mountains and the trees there. And if you run through here in the evening at night, you can often get really lucky and find a bunch of nectar. Um, the biggest haul I've had so far is 20. So right here we have one and it fell off this tree flower here. And um, you can just kind of like run in a loop. Oh no, they just, I think they just ate one or no, they didn't. But uh, yeah, oh no, it was there. They were eating it. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, if you just kind of um, run back and forth here for a little bit at night, you can get pretty lucky. And uh, you can get a bunch of Moondew Nectar. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's any more here right now. But really, as long as you're running through and you're looking for these flowers and checking the ground below them, you're probably going to get lucky enough and get Moondew Nectar. I guess let's go ahead and see if 27 Moondew Nectar is enough to open up this Butterfly Gordo since um, it only eats Nectar. So maybe it is. We'll find out. Oh, it's definitely going to be. He's gonna blow. Boom. Oh. How does a big cave down here? All right, we've got uh, pomegranates. We want to look for treasure pods because there's got to be some treasure pods in here. Oh, there's uh, one of these bugs. Like a little outpost here. The breach is so much smaller now. It fills me with hope. I remember when I first found it, I just walked right into the labyrinth and began exploring its endless gray halls, not even understanding what was really happening. But it's not so easy this time. Whatever I do, I need to shut the door tight behind me. I can't let it all happen again after coming this far. Hmm. Treasure pod here. So we're going to open some kind of door that blows up and destroys the entire galaxy. Starlight Strand Portal. All right, nice. All right, so there seems to only have been one treasure pod down here and there doesn't seem to be anything else. So a little bit of a lore dump and uh, some treasure pods. Get the little boost up here in this cavity and there's nothing here, yeah. Oh, but there is a button here. Wait. Ooh. Where's this lead? Wait, is this a different entrance or is this just a way out? I'd never seen this before. I've walked past this and missed it a bunch, I guess. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Well, once again, that was not exactly as, you know, big of a deal as I thought it was. I kind of thought we'd get more content behind these Gordos. After the Tars come through is also a great time to find Nectar potentially because everything that eats the Nectar will be dead. Now, the Ringtail Gordos, um, they eat basically everything, so these should be pretty easy to open up. We just need to basically grab a bunch of everything. 
Uh, I just shot my plorts at him accidentally. I guess while we're over here, let's go ahead and burst the angler slime. I don't know if we have enough to do this, but we're gonna try. 40 whole chickens. Oh, he's not really getting too big too quickly. I wonder if this is enough. It was not, so we need more. <laughs> ah, one might have not been enough, but clearly five will be enough. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. It's just a water uh, water column to get us back up to the top of the hole that we fell down. Uh-huh, yeah. So that also wasn't as interesting as I was hoping for it to be. Ooh, we got a large diamond. These are super rare, so whenever you see these, make sure you grab the strange diamonds. Oh, I say they're super rare, except I just got two of them. I've never seen two of them spawn together and let alone like one of them. They're, they're super rare, at least in my experience. Maybe that's just content creator luck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say hello to the ringtail gordo. I've got a bunch of uh, various random items here. Um, I brought a bunch of carrots in case this wasn't enough. I just collected junk on my way and then we'll top them off with the carrot stack. He should be somewhere near bursting. There he goes. Boom. There's a lot of ringtails uh, thinking about it. So maybe we should yoink them as well because they're kind of a rarer breed. Hey, I want those carrots. Don't you touch them. Uh, let's see where this goes. Because this is, this might be a new area. Wait, what? You know, that's actually pretty nice. I was thinking about putting one of our teleporters there for the conservatory. So, man, I, I can't argue with that at all. That gives us a nice, like, forward teleporter. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead, though, and go pop the honey gordo as well. Because I've got 40 mint mangoes and someone's going to burst. Do you think I can make that? I really want that honey. Uh, I've got 40 mint mangoes. I probably shouldn't try it. <laughs> you know, I have no fear in jumping off a cliff to my death, but uh, kind of don't want to lose my mangoes. Wait, is this? I think we've read this one before, actually. All right, honey Gordo, let's go. Uh, we're going to burst you with fruit. And kaboom. What could possibly be inside the Honey Gordo's lair? Hopefully it's... Oh, wait. A new door. A phosphor slime. Okay. So we have a new... Oh, no. Okay, that's actually a deadfall. Wait. I don't know what that, that one little segment is. Is the... Oh, wait. This door is... Oh, wait. There's two phosphor slimes here. This must open up a shortcut. Tall pink coral columns. Yeah, this must bring a shortcut. I think this one must open this door, which is this side of the ravine, and that other one is that other side of the ravine. Go ahead and feed these honey phosphors. Uh, nope, guys, don't eat those plorts. Uh, I'm emptying my honey slimes. Hold on. Nope. Uh, kind of need these. There we go. Two phosphor plorts. Look at that. We didn't even have to go home to get those. Phosphor slime one, which will open this door. which is this doorway on the beach and right here. And then let's go open door number two. Boink. And door number two is the one in the crevice, right? Yeah, okay. Actually, before we go and explore the new area, I wanna take a little bit of time to experiment around with some of these uh, like technologies in the warp tech and stuff like that. Um, apparently, like, the portals appear to only have one single, um, one single crafting of them. So you get to place one of them. And I'm going to assume the Gray Warp Depots, uh, allows you to place, you, like, you can craft one and then you can craft another. Oh, no, one craft crafts both of them. So, that's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and craft all of these then, if we can. Yeah, we can. So, there we go. We were able to craft that. And um, I think now what we can do is go ahead and set up. I think these would be best inside the base. I'm not exactly sure how they work. So let's take a test here. Where can we? So we can put two things right here. I feel like this would be a good spot to maybe put one. Um, so let's put the gray one here. This gadget is installed permanently until demolished. 
All right, this is a terminal and it can take one item. Okay, I was hoping more than one item wouldn't happen there. So it's gonna be like a single cell storage unit. Like, so it's like an ender chest that you can access from two locations, I guess, is the way to think about it. This is like Minecraft. <laughs> I'm assuming it can only hold like 40 items or something like that. So let's suck out all these flutter ports here and let's just test. All right, so it's looking like it's probably 100 items. So we can kind of use this to transport more plorts at a time from locations. So like usually if you wanted to mass collect your plorts and go sell them, you could only take 40 at a time. But yeah, this looks like it's 100. Yeah, now we can just transfer it. Now it's like that pin is sitting here. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do with these is focus on infrastructure with them. Oh, there is a crystal slime gordo. Veggies, no, I just threw, I just threw my carrots out. Oh no. Aha, yeah, take a heartbeat, sucker. Oh, uh, well, I didn't get to him. I don't remember seeing a tabby gordo. Maybe I'm being forgetful though, and I have, but I don't remember a tabby gordo. So I think we have three gordos remaining, the bat, the crystal and the tabby. We also have some map chunks to find over here in this biome since we haven't found it yet. Oh, the radiant ore. I really wish they would redistribute radiant ore versus, um... oh wait, this is the way we came. But as I was saying, I really wish they would change radiant ore and jelly, jelly stone. I wish they would like make it a little bit more even because I have thousands of Radiant Ore versus almost no Jelly Stone. Ah, so the Crystal Slime is sitting on a water rise to get us up to the higher levels of this area. Well, in that case, we're going to go grab a bunch of veggies and burst them. So I decided that we'd come over here to the bat real quick and go ahead and pop the bat open. That way, you know, the shortcut's open and done and we're sticking to what probably is going to be the title of the video which is gonna be something like popping all the Gordos probably because that's kind of all we've done today is just blow up Gordos and uh, take their guts. But yeah, it's, uh, this is just a shortcut. Now, if I remember correctly, a Crystal Slime's favorite food is the Odd Onion. The only reason I remember that is because the Odd Onion was one of my favorite foods from Slime Rancher 1. I don't know if I was correct in that, but we'll hope I am. Otherwise, I look like a complete idiot. So I've brought enough carrots, hopefully, to burst this guy. I'm not entirely sure if I did. He seems very happy and getting pretty big. We're almost out though. Up, uh, yep, there we go. Kaboom! So let's go ahead and take a ride up here. Uh, nothing too amazing up here. Oh, there's a map piece. Wait a second, let's go ahead and grab that. Bam! One entire section of the map revealed. So we've got a nice little, like, what is that, a cove? Like a uh, little hidden cove. And what is, what is this one? This one's just the, okay, this is just a little water lake. Oh, there's the tabby Gordo. So I was correct. So we can just burst this guy and um, I don't know how much there is. Oh no, I made it, okay. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself, that I would prove to my parents that my choice was the right one and they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch and, and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Wait, so is this the original owner of the Far Far Ranch before we end up there? This is also a teleporter. So this teleporter probably, oh, you know what? This teleporter is going to go to the one we discovered in this cave here. Oh, okay, that's super cool. Yeah, so we'll get that Gordo opened up then because uh, we should just need the stony chickens and um, that should be pretty easy to get overall. I just realized that when you go into the house and you go between sleeping, you know, sleep for six hours, sleep until night, sleep until morning, when you click on these different ones and as the time changes, Beatrix actually has a different stance and or model. In the morning, she has a honey slime mug. I need that mug. I, I need that. I need that mug. That is so freaking cute. It's not funny. I, I love that to bits. The honey slime has always been my favorite slime in Slime Rancher. And now the honey cottontail, the honey tail, as I call it, 
is by far my absolute favorite it's just it's such a nice slime all right guys let's go oh, no oh, I, oh, no i forgot that my stamina was super low there when i jumped across oh man why do i why do i keep almost dying constantly <gasps> Ooh, don't i swear slime ranchers sometimes is scarier than horror games speaking of which uh i'm considering playing horror games soon so, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm announcing that in a Slime Rancher 2 video, but, um, if you guys are interested in horror, consider subscribing. Because there is horror to come. Let's burst this tabby, and there we go. Kaboom! Now, was I correct? Does this link up? Yes, it does! So that's awesome. That, that makes a lot of sense where that teleporter goes then. Yeah, so we have access to our base then. Well, not our base, but, you know, a much closer point. I actually really like the fact that they added those two secondary teleporters and versus just these two base ones. Because I kind of figured that you just had one teleporter and then you just kind of, you know, had to live with running that far. But if you really want to come over here for some reason, like for crystal slimes, you just take this or... Yeah, I think it, I think it makes sense. Now, I am noticing that there's this cave over here, and I don't really recall if we've ever explored that or if we've, you know, seen any of this. We entered right here. We came in through this little area here, and then we came around into this area. So I don't think we've ever seen this area over here. So how do we get over there? That is a great question, and we are going to go figure it out. There's a boom slime there and there. That is rather interesting. So is there any, is there any other like, oh, that's super cool. The reflections of the water going up. Wait, are these boom slimes right here? No. Wait, this is right behind my area. Okay, then yeah, let's open up that cave real quick. I thought we were done basically, but then I discover something new. That's literally how it always goes. You discover something, the moment you think you're done, you find something else to keep going. On my way to grab the boom plorts, I actually just noticed there's an exclamation point here. So it looks like we got a call from all kinds of people again, uh, including Thora West. Well, now if it isn't B, old Hobby and I were just talking about you. Word, word is you went off to parts unknown of this here rock with a thirst for new adventure. At a girl. You just keep on walking to see what new wonders are around the next corner until your boots have holes. And then get yourself some new boots and do it some more. Me, well, my boots have seen better days, but I know there's still an adventure or two left in them. I suppose I just need to figure out what. Ah, oh, heck, I'm just rambling just like Hobson does after he gets talking about exploring the cosmos, cooking, or pretty much any other topic. All right, B, you hang in there. I'll be calling to check in on you. Doesn't matter who you are, we all start feeling it when home is beyond the horizon. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something for you to spruce up your new place. It ain't much, but you can make it cozy. A taming bell. What does a taming bell do? All right, so bloom plort one. That moved the door a bit. And wait, where was the other one? Oh yeah, bloom port two. Now I'm assuming that fully will open the door. No, so there's another one somewhere. Okay, well, oh, it's back there. Easy enough. Easy find. There we go, door is open. Now, is this just a shortcut or is this another new area? Wait, is this just... Oh, wait, no, I don't think we've ever been here. Go ahead and get a boost off that. It... Oh, wait, why is there... What does this water geyser go up to? Oh, a treasure pod. And we got glowing mushrooms. Oh, a rock gordo. I hadn't seen one of these. Okay, we have one more gordo to open up. I am trying to figure out where this is, though. What does this cave go to down here? Is this the original entrance that we came in? Oh, it is. So the rock gordo is above everything. All right, let's go ahead and open up the Rock Gordo. That'll be the last thing we do for today and uh, see what's up there. All right, with a bunch of heartbeats now, let's go ahead and explode this Gordo. The final Gordo. I'm pretty sure at this point that is going to equate for literally all of them, I think. 
And we get to take it right up into the stratosphere and find literally nothing. One treasure pod. That's worth it. Gimme, gimme. A jetpack drive. Yes! I've been wanting a better jetpack, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, so this is just a little tiny area here. Is there anything, like, over this ledge here? Because this looks like we can climb over it. Oh, no. It just becomes a, uh, just becomes a very tall peak. Oh, man. There could have been something on top of this. That could have been awesome. That could have been, like, a final treasure. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can get up there, though, with the other jetpack. So, who am I to say there's nothing up there? There very well could be. But with that, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good one.